Hey, what is up, guys and gals? It's there. This is to you. Hope you guys are having an absolutely great day. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Basically, I'm going to show you guys how to create your own um, bucket or spigot uh, server. I'm on the outside. <laughs> Yeah, so you're gonna go to this link, getbucket.org, will be down in the description of this video. You're going to click uh, download spigot 1.11.2, or the latest version, whatever it says there, it'll still work the same for the tutorial. Open this up here, download spigot, it'll bring up an adfly download. Uh, you wait the four seconds for the adfly download to complete. And one second left, and skip add, and it will download the file. Now, do not click anything that comes up from this. Do not click this whatsoever. This is bad. This will give you a virus, okay? Um, so, yep, you're going to do keep. And the only reason it says it could harm your computer if you're using Chrome, Chrome doesn't like any other file that is not put by Windows or, or Microsoft or it's Google. Um, for instance, some even Microsoft files will be blocked through that for me that are actually from the Microsoft website because they're an exe file or whatever so um, yeah so now that you have this it's there you're going to go to your desktop and do new and then folder uh, you can name the folder whatever you want server minecraft server I'm just gonna name mine MC server fort uh, MC server and then tut and capital for tutorial all right and now open it up and you should see everything clear. So first of all, what we're gonna start out by doing is dragging the spigot.jar, or the spigot.1.11.2.jar into the MC server folder. And we're gonna number one, this step is important. You cannot leave the, the, the um, you cannot leave the, um, the, 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 the name it is because the command that runs in command prompt is running as the spigot so that and then we'll do enter so it's now spigot.jar it's an executable jar file all right now we're done that we're gonna do new text document and just type random shit on your keyboard okay that's done open it up and then you're gonna copy and paste this code right here um this will be down in the description as well you guys don't have to type this in from the screen basically what this command is doing is it opens up the batch file which then runs the the jar file and creates the files for the server so now what you want to do is you want to do save as start dot bat okay all files save now we have saved the batch file we can delete that now and we can now delete this text all right Spigot's been installed and the batch file's done. We are going to do double click start. It'll load a command prompt window. And it loads the libraries here for a second. Um, it generates all the files and after it's good, we're done. So we're not done completely yet. We need to accept the EULA, which is basically the Minecraft Terms of Service. Um, let's delete some of those there so you can see it. Good. Um, so, you'll uh, set to true, that means we uh, agree to the settings right here. Don't read them, it, it's just a waste of time, just one of the things, it's like a verification thing that MC requires you to do. Double click the start.bat again, and it will load the other libraries for the server. Uh, guys, I am also going to go into get into port forwarding here, um, without router settings, because um, I don't have router settings. So. Um, yeah um so we're going to open this under port 25565 after we're done because that is the default minecraft port it's loading the spawn area which is good all of our files have generated and our server is almost ready for use now let's take a look at the server uh dot properties you're going to double click this or excuse me don't double click it right click it at notepad plus plus it opens it up now these are what your server is running off of. You can change your MOTD here. Uh, a good MOTD tool, we can go to uh, google.com and it is uh, MC MOTD generator. And it is, I believe 
it's this one? Nope, not that one. It's the one above it. There you go. Okay. So the nice thing about this is actually you can put in here. So I'm just going to name it Sassy's MC Server. And you can actually bolden it, underline it, or italic it, and change the color of it through this GUI right here. So, also another cool thing is, which you can't do in regular MOT in the regular MOTDs, you're gonna add these um, these nice um, things, I guess you'd call them, whatever these are. And this is the easiest way to do it for the MOTD. And you do create the MOTD. And you copy this right here, and then just this is just a shitty MOTD. You guys don't b m bother this. This is just yeah, and you just copy and paste it there. Excuse me, I got a new keyboard and I'm not used to those Mac keys. Did not copy. Whatever. We don't need to get into that right now. A link to that will be down in the description as well. Okay. So, whitelist, everything looks good in here. Generator settings, uh, level name, announce player achievement, prevent cost, blah, 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 blah. And here's the main part, the port, okay? So, I already have a network, uh, a port running under that address, uh, under my address for that. So, the server IP is, um, leave that blank, you don't need to edit anything for that. Uh, everything looks good in here. Max players, you can set this to. I'm just gonna set it to 100 for now. There you go. Save, and we will restart the server. Now, you guys, I'm gonna start Minecraft here really quickly. You guys should be able to connect to it, um, because you guys will be able to connect to it because um, it is your IP address. Uh, it is your 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 server running. The issue is when your IP address or your router is not port forwarded to two five five six five. No uh, Minecraft inbound connections can come in. So the there is really no risk for putting your server on the port two five five six five. For instance, if you were to open port eighty on your network, that is an issue. Never port. Well, not never, but try not to ever open port 80 because that gives people direct access and they can do a lot of shit through your through port 80 so now if we go in through here we go to uh, local local host scroll down here should be loading here in a second excuse me my server's not up start no wonder Alright guys, so now I'm going to get into the port forwarding phase, and then we can join the server later as soon as it's port forwarded. So it depends on the modem you have, this might not work for all of you, but it should work for a, a few of you. Um, so number one, you're going to start up going start by going into your file explorer, you're going to go to network, and this is all the devices that are running on the network right now. Um, so mine's running, um, so yeah. Um, so... Here is what we're going to be working with, the network infrastructure. You see this right here. Depends what you have. I have one that allows me to do this. So all i got to do is go uh, right click it, click properties. Um, it opens up a, takes a little bit to load this because it's not on your computer. So just give it a second. It brings up this little thing right here and you do um, settings. Sorry about that. And it takes a minute to load all this because it, it, it is it is a fairly strong um, strong thing to load because it's it's loading from something else. All right, once you're done that, you're going to click Add, and it brings up this service setting right here. We're just going to name it MC Server. Okay. Um, name. Uh, so here's another thing is. Uh, we're gonna have to do this, so we're gonna do Windows key run, which brings up, or Windows key R at the same time, which brings up the run. Type in CMD, and now what you want to do is you want to type in uh, IP configuration. Okay. So um, you go up here. The IPv4 is one nine. Okay, my, uh, my IPv4 changed. 
Oh, excuse me. No, 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 no. That's that's completely wrong. Uh, this is this is the um, my who before we use. All right, here we go, and we're just gonna type that in. One nine two point one six eight, I believe it was. Yep, and one point eight. All right, our and that'll be the same for you. We're gonna enter the external port number two five five six five is what we're going to be using for the Minecraft service. Again, 25565. And, okay. I'm not going to do it again, because I've already got a port running on 25565. Um, and now, if you go to canyouseeme.org, and if we connect to the server, it has to, I have to be connected to the server for it to want to be nice. So, um, is, my, is the done? Okay, we'll go... Delete, yes. Let's do this again. Local host. So now it should work. There we go. Local host is working. We connect. Um, and it logs us in for the first time. It will take a little bit because we're the first player to load load in. And we are in. As you can see, we've uh, logged in. Okay, there we go. Um, Ooh, these frames are nasty. It's probably it's because I'm recording with OBS. These frames are nasty looking. All right, now now that now that this is complete, um, you should be able to go to candycme.org and check the port two five five six five. And if everything goes right, two five five six five is open on my network. Um, guys, um, you should be able to advertise your server now. If you guys want any more help with anything. Let me know if you guys like to see a tutorial. And uh, without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. If you appreciate my videos, make sure to subscribe. And for more assistance to you, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.